Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be taking a look at the topic of Norwegian Americans. So 194 years ago in 1825, the first organized journey from Norway to America uh, takes place. And it takes place uh, on this ship called uh, Restoration or Restoration. Um, and then we have uh, 52 uh, passengers um, and they start out in Stavanger on the west uh, coast uh, of Norway uh, and they travel to New York so the journey starts in July the 4th of July uh, really funny because America has its national day on the 4th of July and they arrive in New York uh, October 9th so it takes approximately three months for them to get across the Atlantic and Clay Pearson, uh, the guy you can see in this picture here, uh, was a Norwegian American pioneer. Uh, he had been to uh, America several times on like scouting trips to check out uh, the country and if it was a good place for Norwegians to come and settle. Uh, and on this ship, uh, a lot of them were Quakers. It was a Christian group that was um, persecuted uh, in Norway. By the state church and then you have the hoggians or whatever you call them <laughs> it was a lutheran religious group uh, that was kind of uh, followers of the famous hans nielsen hauge who was a uh, kind of a freelance uh, preacher who had a ministry uh, in, in norway he was heavily persecuted by the state church in norway and he died in 1824 he was in prison many times and was tortured and Sadly, he died. So just a year after he died, uh, this organized journey takes place. But most of these uh, religious uh, people were originally farmers uh, in Norway. So why did they leave? Well, they were experiencing quite a bit of religious persecution uh, in Norway. Um, but uh, at this point, 1825, there wasn't a lot of religious persecution. Uh, but later, there was actually more religious persecution so they were kind of ahead of their time actually maybe they saw a trend of increasing persecution that's why they left uh, but obviously there was economic opportunities in america that they wanted to explore so from 1825 uh, until 1920 there are uh, 800,000 uh, norwegians who emigrate from norway to america that's quite a large um, number so from 1825 till 1836 there are mostly religious and political minority groups who travel uh, and from the 1860s the numbers of Norwegians traveling uh, steadily uh, increase and many of them were farmers uh, but of course there are other uh, categories as well and we usually divide it up into three waves the first waves being from 1866 uh, till 1873 and the second wave was from the end of the 1870s and the start of the 1890s and the last wave uh, happened in 1903 until 1910 as you can see in this chart here this is kind of a overview statistics over a number of norwegian persons who obtained lawful permanent uh, resident status in the us from 1870 to 2016 and so we can see that from 1870s uh, there was a lot uh, of um, Norwegians traveling but then from 1880s that number uh, doubles and then it goes down again uh, from 1890s and then it, it doubles again from 1900 so there's been quite a bit of movement from Norway to America uh, throughout uh, the years uh, there was an American Civil War happening uh, from 1861 till 1865. Uh, so it was a little bit harder for Norwegians to come to America during that time because they knew there was a war uh, going on. So many of them waited until the war was over. Uh, so in 1866, uh, just one year after the war ends, uh, Norwegians come in large numbers and they travel to states like uh, Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Iowa. And, I mean, obviously, Norwegians traveled to other states as well, including California, uh, but it was these uh, states up here in the upper Midwest 
that are like famous uh, for um, Norwegian immigrants uh, settling there. So why did I leave Norway? Uh, well, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, there was quite a bit of religious persecution against these religious minorities like Quakers and Haugians, uh, the followers of Hans Nielsen Hauge. There were also some uh, sense of overpopulation in certain towns and cities. Uh, some towns were getting very crowded, uh, so people uh, had to share all the resources and share all the food with more people. So it was more like a, a troublesome situation for some people. Uh, but also there was this sense of adventure uh, and I wanted uh, obviously a better life uh, in Norway. And there was also some crop failure and some people living in poverty, uh, but this is not uh, the main reason why they left Norway. And also there was kind of a trend in Europe going on at the time, uh, traveling to the United States to have a better life. Uh, so why did they come to America? Couldn't they have traveled to other countries like Britain? or Germany, or France, or why America? Well, they had heard that there was religious freedom in America. There was freedom of speech. They could settle there and have their own religious uh, activities without being persecuted by the state church. Uh, also, there was something called the Homestead Act that uh, granted newcomers uh, certain acres of land in which they could farm. And I mean, in general, rumors of prosperity, uh, economic opportunity for all, and everyone in Europe at the time really wanted a piece uh, of America. So it was kind of a race. <laughs> and so we have the Homestead Act as signed into law by Abraham Lincoln himself in 1862. And this law, the Homestead Act, really encouraged uh, westward expansion into America. But there was a catch. I mean, there was always a catch. Uh, in exchange, the homesteaders or the farmers who, get, who got the land, they paid a small filing fee and they were required to complete uh, five years of continuous residence before they actually owned uh, the land. But this act really accelerated settlement of U.S. Western territory by allowing any American or newcomers who became Americans, uh, including freed slaves, uh, to put a claim up for the free acres to farm. And here we have a picture of uh, some Norwegians who settled here. Uh, this is in North uh, Dakota, a really famous state for the Norwegian immigrants. And yeah, let's take a look at Norwegian uh, Americans today. Uh, so Norwegian Americans are currently the 10th largest uh, European ancestry group in the United States uh, right now. So the total population of uh, Norwegians living in the US or who come from an Norwegian ancestry uh, are almost 5 million. I mean, 4.6 million. And here we can see that most of them are in the Midwest and in the West. So states like Minnesota, Wisconsin, California, Washington, North Dakota, Iowa, Illinois, Oregon, so forth and so on. There are plenty of states which Norwegians settled in. But Minnesota, by far, almost a million settled uh in minnesota uh, no not a million settled but i mean today they are almost a million that's what i tried to say uh, so it's really interesting that minnesota was the state but not only norwegians came to these states because there was a race for all of the european nations to have their piece of land so in this picture here you can see uh, the dominant uh, european groups who settled and the black <laughs> represents the germans so the Germans actually settled quite a bit around America and became the largest group uh, to settle down in America over time. And red represents the British and uh, green represents the Irish. And then we have the Norwegian uh, with the with the brown uh, brown up here in uh, in Minnesota and North Dakota. Uh, but yeah, a lot of Germans, a lot of British, a lot of Irish. And uh, the European ancestry in the USA comes down to a few big nations who really put their mark on this country. Like German Americans uh, in America today account for 13% of the US population, 45 million people. Then you have African Americans with about 36 million. 
then you have Irish Americans 32 million and then British Americans 23 million I mean the list goes on and on but I just wanted to point out like the top nations really uh, settled in America and this is like uh, an overview of like counties where uh, German Americans are the largest uh, ethnic group just a lot of states and if we take a look at this picture here that's a lot that's a lot of uh, space that the Germans uh, claimed and where they lived and yeah Norwegian migration to the US is the greatest migration in Norwegian history and um, the Norwegian uh, population in Norway right now is uh, 5.3 a million and uh, the Norwegian Americans living in the US is close to that number uh, 4.6 million Norwegians uh, living in America of course they're not pure Norwegians necessarily maybe they married an American uh, but more or less Norwegian Americans account for almost 5 million uh, people in the United States so around 800,000 Norwegians emigrated from Norway to America in the time period from 18 25 until 1920 so america has been known uh, over the years as the great melting pot like all the different nations of the world come into america and then they blend in and then uh, they settle and they mix with one another and i mean the whole idea of america as it as it became in the late 1900s is the idea of uh, all kinds of nations coming in with religious freedom uh, freedom of speech uh, so freedom is one of the main uh, values in America and this was something that really uh, pulled the Norwegians to come and settle there so thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again in the future